Hello and welcome to the Highness Racing Channel and today I'm going to go through step by step how to install Sol, a weather simulation system for Eseta Corsa created by Peter Bowes and a bunch of other amazing contributors who you'll find at the AC Custom Shaders Discord channel and I'll paste a link to their channel, their Discord channel, as well as a link to my Discord channel. Uh, if you have any questions about this whole process, then by all means, get in touch with someone on, the, on our respective Discord channels. So what is Sol? Sol is a weather simulation add-on for Assetto Corsa, and it's completely based on the weather effects module of the shader patch. And shader patch bundled by Ilya Usupov provides many additional features for Assetto Corsa, dynamic lights, tire flex, windshield effects, real mirrors, vertex, ambient occlusions for tracks, and now a complete new way of creating weather. There are some prerequisites for this how-to. You need to have Content Manager installed. And if you don't have Content Manager, then I'll leave a link in the description below. You can head on out there and get your own copy. So first things first, uh, you want to basically make sure that you start with a clean slate in terms of what mods and uh, apps are enabled in your existing content manager or a sort of Corsa. So what we'll do first is let's download and update content manager. At the time of this recording, I've got version number 0.8.1869. So that's the current version that I've got. Okay, the next thing is you want to head on to disable the mods. So we'll go to content, mods, and see these, these mods here, let's disable them all. Oh, okay, let's you have to disable them one by one. Let's disable that one, disable that one, and disable that one. So everything is disabled. If you don't have the paid version of Content Manager, then you can do exactly what I did with the JSGME application to enable and disable uh, mods. You can basically do exactly what I did there. The next thing you want to do is you want to download and update Shaders patch. I'll leave the links below to download say, Shaders patch. The next thing you want to do is you want to rename the existing Lights Shader patch folder in your mods folder, okay? So head on to your in the installation of your Assetto Corsa, which is usually found under program files x86 forward slash steam, forward slash steam apps, forward slash common, forward slash Assetto Corsa. Then head on to mods and then rename the folder called S light shader patch to rename it to uh, something else like light shader patch backup. Okay, just rename the existing light shade, shader, just rename the existing shader lights patch folder because I, I found that it's better to start from a clean slate, keep, make a backup of the original one and we'll you know, copy the new one across. Once the shader patch has finished downloading, we want to install the shader patch according to the according to the manual that's included in the Sol uh, archive. So we want to copy the new shaders light patch folder into the mods folder. It also says here that you can update the shader patch by deleting dwrite.dll in the root folder and the shader folder in the extension and copy the old ones manually. But for the for, for right now, we won't be doing this. Okay, so now head on back to a sort of course like content manager and go to content, mods, and you'll notice there are, there's a new folder here, available mod called shader lights, shaders light patch and shaders light patch backup. That's the original one that I had in my, in my folder, in the mods folder, and this is a new one. What we'll do is we'll select the new one and enable it. Now once we've enabled it, we want to inst install Sol. So if, now what we'll do is we'll close the content manager. We'll open the Sol archive that you've 
downloaded earlier. We want to copy these folders, content, extension, and system from the sole zip file into your Assetto Corsa root folder. And then be sure to confirm that you want to replace the files. So select content, extension, and system from the sole archive and paste them into your Assetto Corsa root folder. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is head on to Steam and we want to go to your library, Assetto Corsa, right click, go to properties and uh, you probably can't see my window right now but go to properties and then go to uh, local files tab and then click on the verify integrity of game files. Click that, depending on the kind of uh, storage you have, whether it's an SSD or a spinning drive, this will take a, a few minutes. So anyway, get that verification rolling. And now while that is verifying, what you want to do is go back to Content Manager. And go to Content, Miscellaneous and weather, okay? Once that's once you've selected weather, you should see a whole bunch of different weather, weather uh, files or names like this. And you'll notice there are some called SOL in brackets. So fog, soul, etc. etc. So lots of soul, there's 32 of them. And you'll see some that, uh, that look like this, heavy fog, light fog, clear, mid clear, etc. And then there could be other uh, weather files that you may have installed uh, previously like good bad weather. What you want to do is you want to select all the good bad weather, select them like this, like you can actually select them and press shift, select them all, go to disable, uh, sorry, go to, then go to files, go to files, make sure to select disable. Oh, uh, you won't see it actually, you won't see it right now, but go to, go to the bottom, click on the Click on this button right here and hover over files and then select disable. And finally, you want to select this disable button here. It'll say disable uh, 16 or 17, however many, but however many things you've selected. And once you've done that, you just close. All right, so that's good. Now that's done. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to settings, a set of Corsair video. And then under filter, look for the list of filters that's in this and select Sol. All right. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go to settings in your content manager. Settings and content manager. And then head on to drive right here on the, on the left menu, drive. And make sure that override default PP filter in Oculus Rift mode is ticked. And then uh, the next thing you want to make sure is that there usually there are three checkboxes here under extended weather. Make sure you've unticked replace clouds by weathers clouds if it exists. And also untick use custom weathers PP filter. So the only thing you should be ticked here is use custom weathers particles. Then next thing we have to do is go to back to Content Manager. We go to Assetto Corsa Video and right down here where it says gener uh, Smoke Generation, just select Minimum. That's what the manual says. So we'll just go to Assetto Corsa Settings, Assetto Corsa Video and select gener Smoke Generation to Minimum. This is mainly due to uh, According to the manual, they say here that there's no big visual difference between minimum and maximum, but there's a huge FPS consumption. So if that's what it says, let's just do that. Finally, what we want to do next is set up the drive. So we want to go into the drive, but before we do this, we want to make sure that Steam has completed verifying all the files for a set of Corsa. And usually it will verify the files and it'll fix whatever is broken or is missing. So we close Steam and then we head on to back to Content Manager. We want to go to Settings 
asset of Corsa and apps and make sure that shaders extension weather effects is activated so now we head over to the drive okay so what we want to do is set the time to about 10 30 or somewhere around there set the weather to to broken cloud there are there are lots of different options so go to mods so go to click on the weather drop down go to mods and then click on broken cloud and then for the track just set it to auto by weather for now and then finally what we want to do is uh, there's this little three little dots here next to the time on the right hand side of the time there are three little three vertical dots right there we click that and we can set the time multiplier to this little time multiplier just enter 300 so we'll just go 300 and then press enter or yeah press enter and then just click off that tracker let's select a track we'll select Nordschleifer tourist great all right now we what we do is we basically go hit go and then we let Nordschleifer load up we've loaded into the sort of Corsa what we'll do is we'll hit the drive icon here and we want to head over to the right hand side and make sure that we've enabled the drive the weather FX app or shaders patch weather app here this weather effects app now lets us hit this minus 45 and we can actually go back in time 45 minute increments and basically yeah this is this is it you've actually installed it and you can see how beautiful that looks so now if I press uh, if I can actually go back in time by 45 minutes and I can see how everything changes it's like this is what time is it here it actually tells me it's 8 oh it's just past 8 o'clock in the morning the Sun is rising over there just over the horizon uh, we've also set up the clouds to be what sort of clouds are these broken clouds notice the, notice the shadows shifting but uh, that's pretty much it like we've got a very baseline setup for soul to run on your computer let me just exit out of a set of course art. something else you can do as an added bonus is according to the manuals we can also install reshade so the instructions can be found on page 21 uh, in the Sol instruction manual. All you have to do is go back to the Sol exe, the uh, archive, sorry, go back to the Sol archive and you'll notice there's a folder called extras, underscore, underscore extras. All you have to do is jump into extras and then go into reshade only picture improvements and select all the files that you see here, the, reshade, the folder called reshade hyphen shaders, the dxgi.dll, the dxgi.ini, and the soul underscore reshade.ini, and then extract them into the Assetto Corsa root folder. And then also, obviously, go back and test your Assetto Corsa installation. Then, what you can do next is head on to Content Manager and go to the mods. Go to content mods and re-enable the apps that you want to enable so i'll enable real billboards and stuff which is amazing it actually replaces a lot of billboards and uh, curbs and other textures in game uh, you can also i'll also enable wet mod and uh, yeah for for all intents and purposes and also if you want you can leave this shaders light patch the backup version there or you can go and delete it altogether by just right clicking on it on that line and then hitting delete so check out the ac custom shaders discord or you can also check out my discord if you need some help i also do stream on twitch uh, the link to my channel is in the description below thanks for your attention and uh, yeah we'll see you online soon